Breaking news. You changed your hair again? No, not that. Oh, right. I remember now. Isaiah and I will be your anchors for this quarter. Roll the intro. Hello, Seacoast. Welcome back to Swen. I'm your host, Isaiah. And I'm your host, Matt. Let's... No, 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 no. Okay. That part was too cringy. You know what else was cringy? What's that, Matt? Most of our first shows. Well, that's true. So we know Swen has had its ups and downs, and that's why we need your help. Starting Monday, we put a Swen suggestion box in Mr. Rogers' room. We want to make sure Swen is the best that it can be. Your suggestions are always welcome. Feel free to drop off an anonymous suggestion at Mr. Rogers' room, or feel free to tell one of us at, to our faces at any time during the day. There's nothing that we love more than criticism. Right. So let's get on with the news. Do you like flowers, Matt? Who doesn't? I know I do. The misery department is selling poinsettias now through November 16th. A six inch pot is $10 and an eight inch pot is $18. Man, I really wish I could play my Nintendo Switch. You can. The class of 2019 will be hosting game night December 5th, 6 to 9. Maybe with Sedgefrion I can finally win a Smash Tourney. That's if we have one. The cost for entry is $5. Don't forget, the canned food drive is going on now through December 2nd. Donate to your first block class for your chance to win a prize that is yet to be revealed. Oh, oh man. <laughs> what's wrong, Matt? I'm super cold. Well, maybe if you watched Swen, you'd know what, it, what the weather would be like this week. Uh, producing it is enough for me. Fair enough. Well, we have to cut to Rafi with the weather, so at least our viewers will be, able to, will be dressed for the chilly weather. Hey, Seacoast, it's your easy, breezy, beautiful weather man. I'm a man now, because I'm 18. Alrighty, let's get started. On Thursday, it's going to be mostly sunny, with a high of 52 and a low of 40. Friday, it's going to be partly cloudy, with a high of 55 and a low of 29. On Saturday, it's going to be sunny, with a high of 43 and a low of 32. That's not sunny. <laughs> Monday, it's going to be partly cloudy, with a high of 52 and a low of 33. And on Tuesday, it's going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 55 and a low of 38. On Wednesday, we're going to have some PM showers with a high of 52 and a low of 41. And then we're going to end it all on Thursday with showers with a high of 52 and a low of 39. The weather's starting to get colder out, so you guys should wear appropriate clothing like sweaters and pants. Sweatpants is what I meant. Yeah. Alrighty. Back to you guys. What an okay guy. Now it's time for our tour, tour of Mr. Mr. Chick's room. And it's now time for our interview of... <laughs> the Building Trades Room. So everyone in Building Trades has their own locker with locks. Anyone else that takes a class in Building Trades or woodworking or basic home repair gets lockers on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, Cameron, tell us about the first step about entering the workspace. You always need to have your personal protective equipment, which is safety glasses so far. <laughs> so this is the new building trades shop. Interesting. Where would you like to start? I'll start over at the table saw. So this here is one of the saw stop table saws. It prevents you from cutting off your finger. It charges, it sends little electrodes through the blade. When your finger gets too close when you're cutting, it'll stop the blade so you don't cut your finger off. Would you like to demonstrate it for us? So again, don't do this at home. Wow. Hey, what else do you have to show us? This is a band saw. So the blade runs on this giant wheel, and the wheel turns, making the blade turn in the motion it needs to make uh -huh, a cut. Uh -huh. The planer is right here. Okay, so what does it do? Big old beast. So it takes a piece of wood, like we have here. I'm not going to use it. It takes this, and it'll cut off little pieces as it's rolled through. It has two rollers on it pulling the wood through, so it makes it smooth. It basically sands it, but it's mini blades inside of it that turn it and eat it up. Where do these pipes lead to? These pipes are the new dust collection for the shop and they lead back in the tool room. Are we allowed to see the dust? Come on. This is the dust collection. 
Where does the dust go after it's been collected here? It goes into these 55 gallon drums right in here. And then when you turn it on, you can turn it on by pulling that switch down and turning that start button on the box. Interesting. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for showing us the shop, Cameron. You're welcome, Liam. Thanks for coming in. Have a good day. You too, sir. This is Minty Mike signing off. Now that's a great guy. Now on to our teacher interview. Who is it this week? Well, why don't you stick around to find out? Yeah! Uh, what is your name? My name is Vic Sokol. I am the principal of Summersworth High School. Okay. How did you get this position? Well, uh, I was, was uh, retired from being a high school principal in 2012 and was called by another school district after I had spent a year in retirement. Um, and the other school district, Hampton, asked me if I would take an interim position for one year because they had a vacancy. And I did take a position in Hampton and it lasted for three years. That three years ended on the 30th of June of this year. Uh, as I was kind of walking out the door, uh, my superintendent in Hampton called Jenny Mosca in Summersworth and said that I was available to become an interim. She heard heard that, that there was not a successful search down here to replace Mrs. Lampros. So she asked me if I would come up and interview. I interviewed with her, and then I interviewed with the school board, met the faculty, and they offered me a position for one year. And I said, I'll take it. And here I am. Do you think this one's actually gonna last one year or like three years like it was? It's hard to tell. I mean, I signed a contract for one year. The contract uh, that I signed is, is done on the 30th of June. There has been no talk about, about uh, hiring a new principal or going through the search process, but uh, you know, I can't foresee the future. Okay. Do you have any hobbies? I do. I do have hobbies. I, uh, two hobbies that I really enjoy are woodworking uh, and wood turning. Uh, I have two lathes at home uh, and wood turning is, you know, you take a piece of wood, maybe usually cut from a tree, um, make a blank, you know, kind of a raw, uh, round, unfinished block, mount it to your lathe, and then you can turn something out of it like a wooden bowl. In fact, I have one right over there on my bookshelf that uh, I could show. It's just a simple bowl that holds, you know, this used to be a block of wood. This used to be a block of wood. It was mounted on my lathe. I turned a simple bowl just to hold paper clips, something like that. Uh, very simple. I made bigger bowls. I made different types. I made candlesticks, you know, lots of type of things. Uh, we're, I'm talking to Mr. Chick and we're trying to get that in part of his program down at the, down at the uh, woodworking area of the school. Uh, I also like to make uh, furniture. I've made a lot of pieces of furniture. As a matter of fact, now I'm finishing up an entertainment center, just a one level entertainment center. Um, and that should be finished in the next week or so. I take courses at a woodworking school uh, called the Homestead Woodworking School in Newmarket, and I've been taking courses there for 10 to 15 years. So that's my hobby. I, I like that. I really enjoy that. Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for the interview. It was my pleasure. Come back and see me soon. We will. All righty. Bye. Bravo! Brings a tear to my eye. You know what brings a tear to my eye? What's that, Matt? The fact that there are no games this week. Have a great week, everyone, and don't forget to stay classy, Seacoast.